Okay, we've got 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Yep. It's going to take longer than that. Then we'll do it in another shot. Alright, alright, right, right, we'll this time. <laughs> I've got a red pen so I can mark you. Okay. The maximum childhood trauma. Okay. <laughs> you know they're not allowed to use red pens anymore because people say it actually causes trauma. What? So they use green pens. It just means that that generation is going to grow up with green being a traumatic color. <laughs> they should just stop marking tests wrong. That's what I think. Okay. okay. Alright, this is questions about stitching? Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> have you studied? A little. <laughs> you have not. Have you really? No. <laughs> Only while it's in the floss tube and you. Yeah, but I haven't even made you watch floss tube for months. That's why you keep asking me to put floss tube on. Because <laughs> you know this is coming. Alright. There's only 29 questions. So okay. 29 questions. <laughs> They're easy. Um, and some of them are extra ones I added to make it extra hard. Okay. Okay. First question. This is one I added. You want to stop for a second and test that the microphone works? Okay. <laughs> I haven't used... Okay, we have another 20 minutes now. Okay, yay. Alright, what is my hobby called? What's it not called? <laughs> it's not called tapestry. <laughs> the, first time, the first time you ever saw me doing it, he said it was tapestry and I restrained myself from strangling him and didn't tell him how offended I was. <laughs> yeah, it's cross stitch. Yeah. Good, you get one point. Tick. Red tick. I'm repairing your chart. Okay, what is floss? Uh, it's the, th the threads? Yeah. That's too easy. What is floss tube? You, all your videos and all the YouTubeness of yeah. the floss tube videos. Who's your favourite floss tube? You. No, another one. Obviously uh, it's me. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fail. Okay, that's not an actual question. I'm just okay. asking. Okay. I just wanted to know if you actually knew anyone. It's been a long time since I made you watch anything. Because we don't have to share a room anymore. That, that is true. Yeah. Um, what is a needle minder? Uh, your magnets that hold the needles so you don't yeah. drop them and tread on them. Yeah. What is a whip? Work in progress. You have studied. What is a UFO? Unfinished object. You have to get some wrong, otherwise it's not um, funny. It's not entertaining. <laughs> There's gonna be some later on, I know. What is an FFO? Uh, finally finished object. Close. What's the what was the difference between a finished object and a finally finished object? That it's taken months and no. months and months to be finally finished it. No, okay, so that's not correct. <laughs> the, the, the other one that I think I've heard was a uh, framed finished object. Pretty close. That's. I'm giving you a half point for that. Okay. A half a point because it stands for fully finished object, and it does mean when it's framed, but it can also mean when you've made it into your pink cushion or okay. it's presented in a hoop or however it's going to be finally presented. So fully finished object, you can have half because that's pretty good. What is a sal? Uh, your stitch along. Yeah, and what does that mean? That it's that like monthly or. However, whatever cycle you're on, everyone starts at the same time and you try to finish it all at the same time or you get individual components yeah. and released over yeah. a certain time yeah. frame. Yeah, good job. Except for the finish at the same time. I don't think any, any stitch along <laughs> has ever happened where everyone has finished at the try. same time. You can try. You can try. Everyone yeah, tries. Oh, by a deadline. Yeah, it's by a deadline. Yeah, trying well, to get it done well, by a deadline. Yeah, because like the next part will come out of the next month. Yeah, but I, like don't think your, or, I don't think there's ever been a stitch along where everyone has finished. <laughs> The goal to finish. Yeah. Um, what is a round robin? It's where a group of people work on the same one or a or collection of same ones and you pass it around in the circle. Yeah, that's actually true. <laughs> Come on. See? see. <laughs> I, you're too good. I even made that question, I I made that question I, up and I you can still attention. go around. Yeah, it's because I did a round robin. Yeah. But it's not, we don't all do the same one. Remember yeah, yeah, one yeah, yeah like, you know, you all work on the same one that goes around, but you can have multiples that right. the group is working on. Because each person has their own. Yeah. yeah. I know you know, because you remember when yeah. I was talking about it. Um, what is a stitchy spot? Where you like to sit and stitch? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I know some things. 
you've, you've only missed a half point in this whole thing so far. I knew you would do okay, but this is ridiculous. <coughs> what is frogging? Uh, that was your unstitching. <laughs> yeah. Why is it called frogging? I don't know why it's called frogging. I have All told I know, you. You I know you've told me. I've forgotten. <laughs> it's because <coughs> when you're pulling, you've got your needle and you're pulling this, the thread out of the fabric like that, and you go and it's, it makes a sound that sounds like rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it, rip it. <laughs> it's very funny, right? <laughs> Quite funny. Yes. Very funny. Um. Okay. What is Ada? That's a type of fabric, I think. Mm-hmm, yep. What's even with? I'm going with another type of fabric. <laughs> What's the difference? Um, one something, the other's not. Really? Uh, <laughs> That's a pretty hard question. I, I'm going with fabric, because fabric is fabric, and it's going to offend someone. Okay. <laughs> No, no, that, that's all right. That's all right. I stitch that's, on both. That's, that's a wrong. <laughs> you, you can have like... So I didn't actually put in the question about what's the difference. But I wanted to know, because I haven't explained it to you. Like with the stitching over one and over two. I, I know Do you there's remember? Different, I know there's different like widths and gauges and things like that. We'll get to that. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, what is a skein? Uh, I know you've used the word as a skein of thread. Yeah. So not like a bobbin, but like the collections of thread that yeah, you get. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Like a little bundle of thread comes, that's how it comes in this game. Whatever that is. Um, what is haul? Oh, but that's after you've gone shopping. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> it's my work. Leave me alone. Uh, I'm not complaining. What is stash? The hauls you've collected over time that you haven't gone <laughs> All through All of yet. the hauls. <laughs> No, even when you have got through it, it's still your stash. I'm like a dragon hoarding all my treasures. That's my stash. All, all the coins, the needle minders, and yeah. And charts, charts and threads, and, and fabrics, and <laughs> delicious things. What is sable? Um, I know sable's a type of paintbrush. It's an acronym. Oh, okay. So it's S A B L E. Pretty, it's uh, pretty obscure. I'm trying, I'm trying. That or I'm trying to think of something witty. <laughs> Both of which are going to fail. It is stash acquired beyond life expectancy. <laughs> so I have more stuff that I can stitch in my entire life. I'm not quite there yet. I don't think. Yet. I, I, I either have a long way to go or I'm way over. Hang on. So I'm thinking about all... So I have enough charts for my whole life because I have all of these full coverage, you know, the huge yeah, ones. Yeah, yes, I've seen those ones. Yeah, but, um, but I don't have them all kitted up, so I could, it's not like I could never buy another thing. Just stitch just, just for my entire life. So, I have enough patterns for my entire life, but not enough supplies. Well, it does depend on when you decide to retire and, you know, the thing dedicate is, full time to stitching. The thing is, it's a collection, <laughs> and it's, I'm, I'm saving it for the future to hand on to my children and my grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. What are orts? Giant clouds of rocks out past <laughs> the outer edge Not of the orb cloud. <laughs> no. <laughs> In stitching, what are orts? I ought to get round to doing that. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty <laughs> interesting. <laughs> it should be that, but no, that's not what they are. Then I got nothing. Um, it's an acronym as well. O R T. I no, ought to get round to doing those things that have been no. piling up in the um, corner. So, an or you know how I've got that little jar full of all the little random bits of threads? The little all your little odds and ends. All the little cutoffs. Yes. Those are orts, and it okay. um, stands for old ready threads. Some people say. Some people say it just means random bits of thread. <laughs> okay, you got that one wrong, and you got sable wrong too. What am I ticket? Sable. What is railroading? When the GM tries to force the party to <laughs> actually adhere to the story that they created no. and the party is trying to not do what you've asked them to do. Right, so you mean what we do when, when you're the GM? Yes. Yeah, no. yes. <laughs> That's not what it is in stitching. Okay. So given that this is a stitching based trivia, 
What's Israel wearing? Following the pattern exact that like it has to force you along a certain path. You're on maybe. the wrong track. Ha <laughs> see what I did there. <laughs> no, that's totally wrong. So you know how you stitch the two threads usually? I think I told you that. Maybe yeah, I haven't. Uh, so like sometimes the threads get like all twisted when you're stitching a lot. So when you're railroad you sort of lay the threads side by side and put your needle between them when you go down to keep them so they're laying side by side rather than twisting up. Okay. So that's railroading, so the threads lay like railroad tracks. So so the party goes where you want it to go. So the thread goes, lays exactly where you want it to lay. Okay. Okay? Railroading. Wrong. We're geeks if you haven't noticed that already. Right. Um, what is a biscornu? This is insane because you've never seen one. It sounds like an I have Italian them biscuit. No, it's not. Um, it's is it based around the biscuit? Is it like those little ornamenty sort of ones you've made, no. you've made that are on hard fabric? No, and it's not Italian either. No. I think the word is French and it means, I think it means a weird shape. And it's actually a pincushion that you make that is a really weird shape. <laughs> It's like the, it's like zigzag around the edges. Because what you do is you make one square like that, you offset the other square like that, and stitch the two sides together so they go up and down around the edges. Yeah, that's a bit funny. I've made some, but I don't have any left. I gave them to people and stuff, so I'll make you one one day. Okay. I know you want one. Um, what is Krynik? I've heard it on a lot of videos. Yeah, um, and, I've, and I've asked you how you would pronounce it because you know German. Yeah. And that's what the people of the company said to Chronic. Yeah. yeah. Um, I always was used to say it, Chronic. Was it done. the like thread protective material or no. was it a type of thread dye? No. Or a type of thread? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a type of thread. Okay. It's the metallic thread. You're not getting any points for that. Oh. No, you can't just keep making guesses until I say yes. I, I, it, was, it was a round thread. I had it around thread. So do you know what the thread protector is called? I didn't make uh, that question. Thread magic? Close. Oh. Actually, that is one kind of it. That is one brand, but the one I use is thread heaven. Yeah. Um, no, you, you got chronic wrong, sorry. Um, what is HPI? It's an image. Um... High performance. <laughs> no. Think DPI. But HPI. Holes per inch? Yes. And what is that reference for? I would be assuming then that's the density of the fabric. The density of the fabric. Yeah, the, de yeah. The, you know, yeah. the density of the weave of the fabric. Yeah. So if I said it was 22 HPI, what would that, that be? That would be 22 holes per inch. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, perfect. Good job. Yay. You got one right, you were on a losing streak. Um, <laughs> there's going to be some bad ones later yeah, on. Yeah, I knew there would be. <laughs> um, what is a Q-snap? Uh, that's your stitching frame that you put, put it on and you snap the things yeah. on and they stay yeah. in place. Yeah, yeah. Um, you got it. What's a grind guard? That's the fabricy thing around your Q snap. So like you, a giant scrunchie? Yes, like a giant scrunchie, <laughs> so you don't get all the grime on the Q snap. Right. What is a hay? H A E D. You've heard me say hay before. Hades? It's an H A E D. It stands for something, but that's not really going to help you know what it is. Oh, no. Nope. It stands for Heaven and Earth Design. Uh -huh. Does that help? Oh, heaven and earth design. Yeah. I've heard of you. Do you know what's special them. about them? About their charts? Uh, that they're really popular and you like them. Yeah. Um, they're the ones that are the full coverage. Oh. Like the giant ones that are going to be 45 pages and take you 45 years. And maybe, maybe 45 years for me. Some people actually stitch them in like three years. But they don't stitch anything else. <laughs> they stitch a lot of other stuff. So. That's how I just fight. Yeah, no, that's wrong. You got it wrong. Okay. What is parking? Don't make a joke. What is no, parking? No, no, no. I'm, I'm pretty. I'm not sure if that was you when you just uh, 
put the needle through the fabric over here to hold on to yes. the thread you've got. Yes. Yay, I'm going to leave it there. Oh my god! I'm not going to keep explaining. You actually it. pay attention. You're getting so off the camera. Look. See, I pay attention. I pay attention. Yeah, that's parking. When you leave your thread ready to sit with later on. Um, so you're just stitching that one little area once doing all the colours in that one area. And you park your thread in the other area to come back to it later. So, what is cross country? Um, that's what parking was, That is. was the going to the next location that you're using that colour as you keep doing the one colour. So you you would move down to the next section that it's meant to be used in and just keep going instead of doing it, say like you've got a 10 by 10 block that you're doing where you go through methodically, instead you go down to the next, wherever it needs to be next instead of yeah. stopping it. Yeah, so in cross country you'll thread up one colour and just stitch the whole thread wherever it goes rather than having 50 threads laying there and yeah. just stitching in one area. Yeah, you actually got those right. I thought for sure did, you'd get them right. I, I, I had to guess a little bit of cross country, but... Yeah, no, you've heard me say it though. That's how you knew. Um, okay, that's the end of the official question. Okay, thank you. Good. What's your favourite thing that I've done or that I'm doing? Um, that skull you gave to Laura was really awesome. I love that! Um, There's a whole set of six, I'm going to get them all. Yeah. Um, there's been a couple of others that you've um, gone through that I, well, that you've finished, mm -hmm. that I've seen, that I was quite impressed with. Um, I can't remember their names. Describe one. <laughs> um, Just one. There was a, that sampler style one that I actually liked. Which one? Uh, I, I told you about I can't remember. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember which one you said you liked. You need it? to get it out in front of it. Um, I, uh, it, was, it was. It had the little houses, little Dutch style houses. Oh, the one that um, I made for my nana, the one yeah. with the stars one. Yes. Yeah, and yes. it had the houses at the bottom, stars by the drawer. Oh, that's okay. cute. <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Yeah. Um, I do like what you've been working on with the gamer. Um, <laughs> it's you take know someone, Nikki, who's about to actually finish that. She's probably finishing it like in the next couple of days. It's amazing. I'm so jealous. Good work. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been working on it for a year and I've done a page and a half. So we're on track for about 30 years until I finish. Okay. A bit more than 30 years. <laughs> so, so it's for grandkids? Yeah. Or kids? Um, I'll call Catherine in a minute. We're nearly done. Um, what would you stitch when you start stitching? <laughs> if you start stitching? Probably something really, really simple. <laughs> <laughs> a tapestry. Wrong. Follow the colours. Wrong. You lost the point for that. Um, <laughs> any other questions that you've got for me about stitching? Um, what got you into stitching? Mum. What got your mum into stitching? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe her mum. <laughs> I used to watch mum stitch when I was like five years old. And then I sat on her bed one day and she gave me a bit of needle and thread and she showed me how to thread up. And I just knew how to do the crosses because I'd seen her do it. And I've actually, she's still got the first thing I've made. I think I might have shown you once. A little thing like this with an ABC and an envelope. And because I just like Wrapping don't diagonalize. Brain, I, don't, you, you might. I don't think I've seen it. No. But it was. And you go to teach Charlie? Um, she, sometimes she's interested, like she's one of these stitches, and then sometimes she just doesn't care. You know, there's yep. kids and their attention span. Yep. <laughs> she's only six. Maybe when she's more like ten, she might actually have enough attention. And um, she's very good with her fine motor skills, but the attention mm -hmm. never takes um, to actually learn and do something small. And I've got so many small kids ready to be there. I hope she stitches. <laughs> Kevin used to stitch. Carl and Jamie used to stitch. I, I There's used to, hope for you. I guess. used to do tapestries. Did you? <laughs> yeah, it's why I guessed there was a tapestry at first. <laughs> I didn't not, know what the difference was. Guess. It's not a bad guess. <laughs> I just remember not... needleworkers tapestry. I think, I, up. I think the first project I ever did was a tapestry. Okay, that's it. Okay. Thanks. No worries.